Hello everybody, welcome to the patch notes for Storybook Brawl. Uh, my hot take as it's only just come out. Um, thanks to Tony for the suggestion of doing this YouTube video. Uh, so yeah, let's just let's just accept these cookies and uh, have a look at it. I like the idea of the hero skins um, and of the emotes as well. That's a good idea, isn't it? That's a good idea to uh, to have. To like monetize it and that brilliant, really good idea. Um, new heroes. This guy isn't. I think this guy. At first, I thought this guy was terrible, but actually, like, obviously, he's very narrow, which is bad. Your princes and princesses have plus two, plus two for each prince and princess you've upgraded, but it lasts the entirety of the game. And so, like, if you say, for example, triple a sure shot or a frog knight, then your adventure will be a three three. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, and then just stuff like that, and then it will go on throughout the game as well. If you like, maybe you do two, they'll all get four, four, and like so. It, it's it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad, I would say. Uh, but yeah, quite narrow and mostly bad. <laughs> Means like your Hercules will be a bit better or, or whatever as well. Your Lancelot. I mean, pretty bad, pretty bad. I'll, but you know, maybe it's better than some of the worst ones. The fact that it's giving you stats. And relatively early, and there's quite a lot of princesses. Um, like Brave Princess and that. Um, there's some there's some there's some, there's gonna be some use to it, isn't there? Like it's it's not as useless as some of the others that only take effect on, on, on tier six, basically. Like Fallen Angel. I I think I don't understand this card. Because I I don't know if it means exactly three characters. Or if it's three or more. Um, See, so it says if you if you start the brawl with three of each, you will have the bonus the rest of that brawl. And if you start with just two, but summon a third, you will have the plus two health the rest of that brawl. You can have more. Thank you very much, Keith. Or T R. There you go. See, this is the this is the problem by uh, by starting it. Well, yeah, that's insane, then, isn't it? So yeah. That's insane that it works for having more, because if you've got yeah, you get free needle nose. Like if you if you've got a uh, if you've got a queen of hearts comp, that's sick, isn't it? That's absolutely sick. And yeah, even three, yeah, yeah. But like, you want to go all evil, right? A lot of the times, you want to go all evil if you go evil for queen of hearts. But yeah, obviously, even with three, it's just insane because all the characters have it, and obviously, two health is also insane. Um, it's not so good on the on the good characters because, like, you'll be getting Godmother right, but even then, it's like it's pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's actually quite good early game. Like, it's gonna fall off mid to late game, isn't it? But yeah, actually, very strong, I would say. Not rubbish. The shoulder fairies, I think, are pretty rubbish. Um, Almost as rubbish as the cropping ability there compared to this one, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like because it gets this, the attack of your strongest evil character and the health of your healthiest good character. So most things are all evil or all good, aren't they? Like pumpkin or good boy, and then the only one that isn't really is trees, and then. How do you, how do you, uh, like, what do you do with this? What do you do with this? Uh, they're checking right now, um, so you, I don't know if you can still exclamation point leaderboard, but it was about 4-1-2-1 or something was the cough. But yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so like, it's only good if you've got other stuff. Like, in trees, I guess you could take it if you've already got, like, if you've already got round table, but then don't you want to just be trying to triple the trees you've already got? Or looking for echo, which is just better. So it seems... It seems pretty rubbish. It's just another horrible thing to hit with Polywoggle. <laughs> right, what's this one? Baby Bugbear. Your next shop sells a character that is one high level higher than your hero. That's good, isn't it? And he's an animal as well. So he's a bit like a lucky, isn't he? But that's kind of sick. 
That's kind of sick, isn't it? If it dies, straight away you're getting offered a tier 4 character. And then... Like, you're not going to want to play it on tier 4, really. But you can with Vulture, can't you? And then you'll be getting offered tier 5s. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good for Skip. Yeah, very nice for Skip. Yeah, I think that's a good card. Yeah, having a 2-2 in the mid-game can be costly. Like, that's really good, right? If, you, if you're already in, in Vulture or whatever, then why not just put that in and, and get offered a tier 5 or an early tier 6, especially? Like, it's a lot better on tier 5, isn't it, if you can afford it? Sick. Sick getting early tier 6s. Very nice. Balance changes. Oh, Wild Grove. Oh, no. Wild Grove is rubbish. Oh, yeah. I guess the upgraded one would be too high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it's after your hero gains XP. <gasps> yeah, that's really nice then, isn't it? That's actually really nice. I, I like this card a lot. Like, obviously, it's crap in the battle, but the last breath is really good, especially with Murtae, right? Uh, what that means that you get... I don't know if that means you get two characters or if you would be two highs. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to do it. Fox Mania, good point. I, I don't know what the Murte would be and I don't know what the upgraded thing would be. You can find it in the client, actually. Um, but we'll do that in a second. All right, so there you go. That's that's that. Wild Grove. It was already bad, right? It was only any good with Celestial Tiger. So now they've made it not used with Celestial Tiger. Um, okay. Well, I think that's sad. It's only balancing with Tiger. They could have made Tiger go double to triple with it instead of quadrupling it. Um, that's going to be a real... Like, I never took it on Tier 2. Well, I've taken it, like, twice ever on Tier 2. Never going to take it on Tier 4, are you really? That's, that's a bit sad. Vampire. Oh, God. Well, the vampire can no longer solo very easily for skip, can it? <laughs> um, his old ability wasn't great, and it often didn't do anything even when the slate triggered. Yeah, which is fair enough. That's fair enough, so like... But it's harder for him to slay, but at least he'll get something permanently off it, but... Mm. I think Vampire's a bit crap now, I think he's worse. Chupacabra doesn't make himself big. Oh, he gives the characters behind him plus one, plus one. That's interesting, isn't it? A bit of stag. A bit of hot stag action. You either put him first, and you could put your shadow... So he could be in slot one, and shadow assassin could be in slot five. And then you could slay and give him plus two, plus two. Or you could try and play him at slot two to grow up two things. Um, Sporko, yeah. Sporko. Very nice for Sporko, isn't it? Um... That's interesting. He doesn't scale himself. No, of course not. So he's he's a much worse pickup to like get get early and then like yeah scale himself. Of course, I've seen some gigantic chupacabras um, in games, and yeah, obviously if if you if you're scaling some absolute crapper behind you, it's not very good, is it? So yeah, but it's going to be interesting. Like it, it it's going to lead to interesting decisions, right? Like the stag about where you position him and stuff. But yeah, he's, he's not going to like, you're not going to get him from a polywoggle and be like, get up there and get something exciting. Toil and Trouble. Um, okay, I was going to say, I never played this for three. I was going to say, I never played this for three, so playing, making that two seems a good idea. Yeah, that's fine. I'm probably still never going to, I probably will play it for two now sometimes when I've got the thing that makes it two cheaper, whatever that is. Merlin's hat, is it? I'd play it for free. I, w I wouldn't even play it for one, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, I'll play it with hat now. Old was plus three, plus three, and now is plus four, plus four. This was another one that I never really played ever. So yeah, that seems a good change. Yeah, they have very low pick rates. I guess they've got the data. So. Ruby Slippers is cut. Okay. Well, there you go. So they just cut. They just cut a tier three treasure. That's good, isn't it? That makes that makes tier threes better to triple. More chance of um, treasure maps, and if you slay, more chance of slay things. So 
That's interesting. And it also makes tier four treasures worse, doesn't it? Uh, wild growth makes like tripling certain tier four characters worse, I guess. Princess White. Oh man. So her base stats are a lot worse. But getting her on tier three is just sick, isn't it? You can polywoggle into white turn one now. <laughs> <laughs> and then go instant for literally instant fold offs. That's that's gonna be disgraceful. <laughs> so um Yeah, and it all the it's all the pluses that make her good anyway, right? She always ends up like a sixty well, not always, but she'll often end up like a fifty fifty or whatever. And making that changing the base stats isn't gonna make any difference, but getting it three rounds early is gonna make a big difference, isn't it? So yeah, huge buff to Dwarves and Princess White. Very interesting. Oh my god, Arthur's just been made a 3. Okay, yeah, he's, he's not a 4-5, he's a 3-3. Three, three. Wow. Oh god, yeah, brilliant for Pants, I didn't think of that. Yeah, so Pants can go full Dwarves now, can't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a real, very real option for Pants. And also, it's a tier 3... Quest now, isn't it, as well? So you'll get, for Pants, you'll get Hatball more reliably. And also, for Dwarves, it doesn't give you the uh, Dwarven Forge chance. So that's interesting for White. Very interesting. Overall, more powerful, I think, getting it three rounds earlier. A lot more powerful. But, um, yeah, the drawback of the quest is interesting. And Pants applications. And, yeah, Arthur is much better, isn't he, for Tier 3? Means you can actually trip a mo lot more likely to triple him himself, and uh, yeah, that's interesting. That's a lot. A speculative Arthur is a lot better than like it was horrible getting a speculative Arthur before when it tier four. Like you just can't do it really, can you? Like he was sometimes bait when you got two of them in the shop, and it means that like now you can get him on tier three and then Court Wizards on tier four. Interesting. Quite like that. And obviously great with the new hero as well. The Nutcracker has only got a quest of four now. Much better. Often got him on five actually. And now only taking four is really good. Um, yeah. Hungry Hippo. Oh wow. He's now a tier four. So no wonder waddling the Hippo. And, uh, well, he's interesting, isn't he? A 10 1. <laughs> but he's like, so he's like, he's like a, he's like an upgraded one. Yeah, he's like an upgraded one, isn't he? Oh, Michael upgraded, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. I think it's probably a massive nerf in terms of you, you can't get him for the... Like, you're never going to triple him, are you? Probably never going to triple him. Um, and a nerf to Waddle, which is probably good. Greedy. I've done alright with Greedy in the past, so that it, making Greedy even better is great. <laughs> Geppetto has been buffed. That's good, because Geppetto's the worst character. So now at least, like, he's still going to be rubbish. But at least if you do get an early Black Cats or an early Bow Peep, that plus three plus three is much bigger than plus two plus two, isn't it? Dracula's Saber. I never, I've never taken this, I don't think, ever. Because it just seems so weird and so narrow and so poor. So, yeah, an upgrade for one of the weaker level five treasures. Fair enough. I might have taken it when I got Harvest Moon and something else and none of them did anything. Alright, thank you, Dan Wolf. I'll do that at the end. <laughs> Save was actually decent. I've I've just never I've never thought it was any good. Right, corrupted heartwood. Your animals <gasps> oh they only get plus one. Oh my god i was i was excited then i was excited then i was like yeah animals get plus three attack but no only plus one um yeah 
Yeah, yeah, Dr. Feels Bad does seem very strong, yeah. So that's interesting, isn't it? Animals and treants being evil. So there's an there's an animals are good and get plus one plus one. Or animals and treants get plus one plus zero. Yeah, that is that is sick, isn't it? What happens if you have corrupted heartwood and um and crown of atlas? Is it crown of atlas? I think it is. Ah, that was the powers it had in closed alpha. There you go. Interesting. Animals and treants. Bad Moon gets a bit better. Wow, it gets the Chupacabra. All oh, right, that's interesting, isn't it? That makes them a little bit better. Oh God, that's a bit sad. Go, <laughs> Gilded Harp Cut. Yes, that's a great idea. That's a great fix, isn't it? That is a great fix. Just remove it. Because it was just stupid, wasn't it, with Wonder Waddle and like just really being just being really lucky off uh, mice was just stupid and ruined games. S smashing people for twenty damage early is insane, isn't it? So yeah, that's great. Oh yeah, Prince Arthur as well. <laughs> uh, fair enough, Sharon. That's good because that's a, that's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that that's good. That that's better. All right, bug fix bug fixes. Secret stash now triggers at the end before you take damage. Good. Like I used to take it sometimes anyway, but that's a good change. Gloves of thieving and kidnap now put the character in the shop with zero cost if you have a full hand. That's great and don't have to make space for gloves of thieving anymore. Now it gets any bonus. Oh, I did not get bonuses before. I didn't notice that. You could get XP. Poison Apple now takes effect after Round Table. That's huge, isn't it? Now that becomes amazing then against Round Table Trees and actual answer for Round Table Trees. Beautiful. Uh, Helm of the Ugly Gosling now takes effect after other buff effects. Robin Wood after Ashwood Elm. Okay. Two cupids behind a Soltak Ancient getting hit by a cupid. <laughs> Didn't even think of that. That's amazing. <laughs> I nearly did that. I nearly literally had a Soltak in front of two cupids today as well. I, but um, I actually moved them around, but I nearly did it. Oh, man. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, okay. Captain Croc will now correctly summon. Okay. Ah, that's good. Oh, that's sick. You will get a permanently upgraded character instead of a polywoggle if you if you upgrade polywoggle and it slays with Ambrosia. Incredible. So that makes Ambrosia better, right? Because now you can you can get Ambrosia on five, and then stick stick a rookie Poliwoggle in to get uh, Grim Sword, and then you will you will get an upgraded version of the thing instead of nothing, presumably. Yeah, well that's what it says—a permanent upgraded character. That's sick. That's sick. That makes that makes Ambrosia a lot better, doesn't it? And Poliwoggle in that situation. Okay, summoning things now summoned at the correct place. Mordred now triggers Hungry Hippo. Okay. Okay. And these are a bit boring, aren't they? These are a bit boring, right? And then what was the thing that was mixed? Missed. Ah, here we go. Aeon. Slay your spells cost one less next round. I'm still never going to take him. Oh, I guess he's 612 though instead of 412. I still think I'm never going to take him. <laughs> yep. Still think I'm never going to take him. And the end is now 4. 
That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Well, sorry, new level four, yeah. So it's not it's not cost three, but it's it's still cost three, but it's level four, so Peter Pants cannot use it. And you can't use it to get ahead super early. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Good. So yeah, hat ball, there's no more hat ball at the end. And yeah, Aeon, if he slays, can make it. Like you can just use the ball part and he if he slays twice then you've got hat ball, haven't you? Or like you could slay three times, but can't see it happening. I think it's terrible and it's not gonna be taken still. So there you go. I think very interesting good changes. This is gonna be this is gonna be wild, Princess White making for instant dwarfs. I guess the, it's gonna be even sick when you turn it good as well, right, to get that instant health buff. Um but that's so good. So good that it's tier 3 and it's like not even worse. Like it's not even, it's one less attack, five less health, but you can turn it good anyway, right? So beauty's influence. So this is just sick. It's just basically one cheaper. And Arthur loses plus one, plus two. But So huge buffs with Arthur and White, very nice. And great getting rid of Gilded Harp. Great stuff all round, and I'm very excited now to be starting on 3000 uh, MMR instead of having to grind up from zero this month. So I'm going to be playing a lot of Storybook Brawl, and I'll be putting um, guides on YouTube and stuff. So there you go, check all of that out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.